Hi, I'm Susan Waters from Exceeding Joy. Our scripture this week is found in James 1 verse 12 to 15, which says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. Today we're going to be talking about the segment blessed. And the three translations that I read yesterday, the first one, that segment says, blessed is the man who endures temptation. The next one is, happy is the person who can hold up under the trials of life. And the last one, anyone who meets a testing challenge head on and manages to stick it out is mighty fortunate. God has called us to walk the path of life. And on that path, he has strategically placed blessings for each one of us. And I believe we each, on the larger path of life, we each have our own path of life where God has placed those blessings. And I want to share with you why I think we are so quick to be seduced by the enemy into the temptations that he puts out to us. And remember, his temptations are candy-coated poison. They look good, they taste good, but they lead to death. Now, with every blessing that God puts on his path, before the blessing, the enemy tries to entice us. And over here we have diamonds representing riches and, and uh, material things. And they're not wrong, but when the enemy is trying to en entice us with that, the, the lie that we so often believe is that we want to take that because we don't believe that God really has a good plan for us. We don't really think that God wants to bless us. And a lot of times this, this is in uh, the unconscious realm. And so remember the candy coated poison that the enemy uh, will try to lure you off the path of life. Uh, love. We look for love in all the wrong places. God's love is the true love. And as we trust him, for relationships, we will find a love beyond what the world can offer. And see, those, those uh, represent the, the temptations that take us away from peace and joy, that rob us of the peace and the joy that God has for us. And then again, we go further down the path and the enemy tries to, I've got an apple there representing whatever uh, the enemy knows can entice you off the path and success. And again, there's nothing wrong with success if it's from God. But when the enemy offers success to us, it's to stop us from receiving the great blessings that God has for us because he has so many great blessings. We have the path of life that God has created for us. And this path leads to our destiny. It, there are many blessings on God's path. And there are many temptations that the enemy tries to uh, get us off the path with. And so I want to encourage you today in Jeremiah 29, 11, in the Good News translations, it says, I alone know the plans I have for you. Plans to bring you prosperity and not disaster. Plans to bring about the future that you hope for. See, God places destiny within us. He places a plan in our heart and gives us a passion to fulfill that plan. Don't settle for less than the very best that God has for you. I have just one challenge for you today, and that's declare your choice to walk the path and ask God to help you. Bless you as you walk the path. God's path will see you tomorrow.